Hi guys, so for this tutorial I'm going to show you briefly how to pack a suit for travelling. First you should bear in mind that it's going to be unlikely that you're going to get the same results folding a suit as you would from putting it in a suit carrier. But the way I'm going to show you today should hopefully help keep your suit in shape and reduce the wrinkles that you might get from travelling. Before we start I'm going to talk a little bit about the bag I've chosen for this tutorial. It's called the Rally and I've picked it simply because it has this super convenient compartment in the bottom. It is definitely one of the easiest alternatives to a suitcase to pack something like a suit in. Having said that, I will be taking you through a few other options at the end of the video. So as I've mentioned, the Rally has this structured compartment which is really handy to pack suits and shirts in as it's pretty much exactly the same size as a folded shirt. Now you could put your laptop in here but I actually think it's better to put it on the bottom section from the top of the bag which I'll show you and explain my reasoning behind this a little later. So now I've got my shirt and my suit trousers in this compartment, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fold your suit jacket to keep it in the best shape that's possible. This may seem a little weird, but it does work. The first thing I'm going to do is turn it over so I'm looking at the back, and then fold one side of it back over itself so it's essentially inverted. And I'm also going to turn the sleeve inside out. You don't have to do this step, but I find it helps with the next part. Okay, so I'm now going to push the sleeve back through so it's inside the jacket. It's a good idea to make sure this is flat so the sleeve doesn't pick up any creases. The important part of this step is that we keep the shoulder popped inside out. This is going to help keep the shoulders in shape so that when you put your suit back on, it still sits properly. I would always recommend that when you get to the hotel, you hang your suit up first this will just help it fall back into the correct shape. Next we're going to take the other shoulder and push it inside the one we've been working on, lining up the rest of the jacket edge to edge. Now that this shoulder is tucked inside the first, they're essentially supporting each other, and then we just fold and fold again. You can fill the rest of this section up with anything you want, I'm just going to put our classic wash bag in because it's really useful and you can store all your toiletries. It means that you don't have random toothbrushes or razors or whatever just loose in your bag which can be a nightmare when you arrive at your destination and have to unpack your whole bag just to clean your teeth or have a shower. Plus, this has a waterproof lining so I'm not worried about anything leaking and it fits well so I'm pretty confident it's not going to be knocked around during the flight and open a shampoo bottle or something. You can fit a lot more in here but I'm just using this as a quick example. I mentioned earlier that I was going to put my laptop in this top section and this is simply for protection. It's now right in the middle of the bag, being protected by both that bottom compartment and the clothes I'm going to put around and on top of it. So now we just put the clothes and the camera, anything else, in this larger main compartment. You may have noticed earlier that I put the tie and the belt in the shoes. Again this is just for ease and to save space. But there is a zipped internal compartment inside this bag and an external pocket which also has a zip. Which is where I put my Kindle, my wallet, Oyster card, headphones, basically things I want as I travel. So that's it guys, that's just a rough guide to packing this bag, the Rally from Mahi Leather, which you can find in the link below. This is definitely not full yet, it's a really large bag so I'm confident you can get a lot in here. Plus if you need extra room you can always roll your clothes up and for your suit just follow the same steps and then roll instead of folding. This would also work well for any duffel or holdall. I just like the rally because of that bottom compartment. I hope that this tutorial has been useful, we will be doing more videos on some other bags. But if you liked this video or you think it was really useful tool, don't forget to like and subscribe and of course you can hit that bell icon to receive notifications on our latest videos. And if you think there were things that we could have done differently, then let us know. Leave a comment and we'll look at them when we make our next video. That's it guys, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.